Hey guys, so Sealed Booster Box Investment is doing uh, very poorly. Um, it's doing, uh, and I guess no one will actually talk about this, but I will talk about this because I'm brave enough. Uh, people who told you to invest in Sealed, yeah, they did you a disservice. They effing owned you. Uh, sealed Boxes, we're looking at Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom, as you may know, has some of the highest booster boxes uh prices for booster boxes they're pretty in my opinion a reputable company and they do good business and again you can kind of rely on their prices to be pretty accurate in terms of what the market looks like one of the biggest problems with sealed box investment is should be pretty obvious to you right now what if uh no one wants your boxes what if the next set and the next set and the next set what if all these sets are just um, better? I think with Universe Beyond, older Magic Boxes are going to be not really highly thought after. Um, I do feel that in general, these prices are very low and you can find them on TCG Player for a little higher, but, but not much higher. These boxes are not an investable asset in my personal opinion based on the fact that they continue to go down in price and there's not any way to liquidate it. My main concern about this, and I've shared it all the time, is liquidation. You have 50 boxes of War of the Spark, how are you going to sell them? Like, who wants a box of War of the Spark when they can get, like, a Doctor Who box instead? Like, who wants a Double Masters when Quadruple Masters is on the horizon? Who wants Zendikar Rising when we go back to Zendikar anytime we want to? A lot of these sealed boxes have very little value in terms of like the cards inside them. So then the other option is, hey, maybe the um, experience of opening and drafting the sealed box, that's where the value is. Maybe. But how many people actually want to do that? The majority of people holding on to these boxes are holding on to them and hoping they go up in price. I 100% promise you that's what they're trying to do. And these boxes and the cards in them, they will never be valuable. Dragon Maze is, I don't know if it's on this screen, but it's like a $40 buy list box. <laughs> oh, man. It's a brutal. I never. The brutality of this is you could, buy, you could invest in a 2013 core set booster box for $90 or $100, $100 from the old local game store. You're still down $10. But I think like 10 years later, 10 years later you've lost money magic origins supposedly the last last um core set right that was when it came out 75 dollars any of these boxes that you went to your local game store to buy 100 and let's call it tax 105 110 with tax yikes my my friends i mean you would have been way better off just opening the box then and there than holding the box and hoping it can go up in price. It's not going up in price. Stop, guys. It's not, Fetch is not happening. You know, it, it's like um, almost mind numbing to really kind of consider that this has been, people have been promoting this as some type of financial advice. You know, did I drink the punch? Yeah, I drank it. And it sucks, man. Like, if I could redo it and not buy a single box, I would redo it and not buy a single box and just wait for Amazon to drop the boxes. Amazon is still dropping. Like, box investing sucks, man. I've never seen these prices this low before. And it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse, guys. Like, you have to understand, like, we're, our economy is not going to pick up magically and then suddenly our economy is good to go. It's only going to get worse from here on out. Boxes will only be cheaper. That's why I'm opening these boxes because there's no value. There's no resale value. I, there's no liquidity. There's nobody out there who wants this box or who wants any of these things. I mean, who wants a Calvin High Collector's Booster Box? Like, who 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 wants who wants a Fallen Empire? I was buying these for five fifty six hundred. I remember I have a Fallen Empire's Booster Box. Like, it's. The buy list is savage right now. And uh, places like Trone Toad, uh, Dave and Adams, they don't even have a buy list anymore. <laughs> and and I, I, I'm honestly like, 
there is a scenario, and it could exist, and I, I'm not saying it will or how. Uh, there is a scenario where, you know, after the buy list, um, that Card Kingdom pulls it. And if you want to see cards priced out, if you want to see things go to zero, then wait until Card Kingdom drops its buy list because I think it's coming. Average and Restored, 2.6. That's not bad. Adventures in Forgotten Realm, if you invested in that product that Rudy Chan really loved, uh, you they will, they will take one, one box off of you for $60. The box that you paid $100 for. Um, they will take... Uh, Man, it's messed up. I mean, these prices are seriously messed up. I, I do think overall that there, there, there's still probably another 30 40% to drop, and that's crazy. That is crazy to think that uh, we're not done drop. We're only in the middle of this. We are. I promise you this. We are not done dropping. Uh, prices will continue to go lower and lower until... Um, Actually, I'm watching this video called The Massive Drop in Star Wars Merch That Has Disney Scared. People are not buying this shit anymore. People are not buying Disney products. People are not buying Magic products. People don't care about these older boxes. They simply don't. It's all about experiences and excitement and all this stuff. Uh, the last thing that you need to invest in is more Magic cards. Like, you know, I, I'm going to be honest. I was going to go to Collecticon. And I was going to buy a shit ton of things. And I thought I could get a good deal with it. And now I'm just not sure. I'm still going to make videos. But like I'm just not sure um, if this is even a good idea. I think it might be a very bad idea to continue to invest. I mean this is. Yikes. This is beyond beyond bad. These are prices that like will make you. And I get it. It's a buy list. But like I said it's liquidity. It's liquidity. I remember that one scammer was trying to sell War of the Spark booster boxes for like 150 or something. And that's what they buy list for today. I mean, guys, like Battle for Zendikar, you bought it for 100. You limit to, it's still selling for 100. <laughs> Conspiracy Take the Crown, fantastic booster box, selling, getting for 80. These prices. While very low, and I understand it's Card Kingdom, I understand, I just don't see the volume on TCG Player that would give me any hope. Like, people, if you have to sell out, you sell on the buy list because you have a lot of booster boxes. You're not going to wait there and sell one by one for the next 50, 100 years. That's my main concern. If you have so many wards of Spark on Modern Horizons booster packs and boxes, um, how the F are you going to sell them? There's not like a demand for them. It's not like somebody woke up, oh, I really want to open some of them. No, they're going to open the newest universe beyond. And outside of having really valuable cards in them, which none of them do because they're not on reserve list cards, right? Even reserve list boxes are in trouble. Even the reserve list is in trouble. Man, this is not investment, man. And they got these people got to stop saying it is alpha investments and so on. Alpha investments. I wonder what he's talking about. Investments. 